Dwarfs were not, as far as Vimes knew, religious in any way, but the way they thought about bread came close. There was a tinkle and a scrabbling noise somewhere in the gloom. Rats, said Carrot. They never stop trying to eat dwarf bread, poor things. Ah, here we are, the Scorn of Stone. A replica, of course. Vimes stared at the misshapen thing on its dusty display stand. It was vaguely so go like but only if someone pointed this out to you beforehand. Otherwise, the term a lump of rock was pretty accurate. It was about the size and shape of a well-sat-on cushion. There were a few fossilised currents visible. My wife rests her feet on something like that when she's had a long day, he said. It's fifteen hundred years old, said Carrot, with something like awe in his voice. I thought this was a replica. Well, yes, but it's a replica of a very important thing, sir, said Carrot. Vimes sniffed. The air had a certain pungent quality. It smells strongly of cats in here, doesn't it? I'm afraid they're getting after the rats, sir. A rat who's nibbled on dwarf bread tends not to be able to run very fast. Gave us a look of uncertain disapproval. We do thank people for not smoking in here, sir, he said. Why? You don't know they're not going to, said Barnes. He leaned against the display cabinet. All right, Captain. Why am I really going to fuck? I don't know a lot about diplomacy, but I do know it's never just about one thing. What's the low key? Why are our dwarfs scrapping? Well, sir, have you heard of...